where you learn technique, and then you went to graduate school. And what I see in your work is there's no period of like maturation. It's like instantly hot. It's mm. instantly really rich, mm -hmm. hearing stuff. So I'm, I'm wondering what happened in that MFA program that made you say, you know, I'm going to start using my own body nude. I'm going to take on a history of images. I'm going to do all this stuff. What what happened in grad school? Yeah, that's that, my question. To this? Um, I don't know what happened. I just started doing it. I mean. You know, I mean, one, it's like, <laughs> like my professors were always like, don't say that, but I, I, I will always say it, because it's the honest truth. I mean, it was like, it's very easy to work with myself. You know, I'm always available, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> I know what I want. And, uh, you know, having come out of the whole fashion thing, you know, where everything is about production, and having to deal with a whole bunch of other people, it was sort of refreshing not to have to do that. So um, I think that to me was like the you know one of the main things, and then the ideas. Well, they came. They come out of a thing of like just sort of. I think my work is reactionary in a lot of ways. It's like what I'm reacting to, you know. So if something bothers me, or people are telling me you're pregnant, and you're like, my God, how could that happen to you? And then well, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to give you pregnancy like you've never seen before. And I think I've always sort of been that person that responds to things like that. I mean, when, when I was little, I mean, not that little, but like 12, like I played basketball really well. And the school I was going to, they didn't have a, you know, a girls basketball team. So I insisted on the fact that they let me play on a boys basketball team. And you know, and I fought them tooth and nail. I mean, I brought it to the press and everything. And I did, and I played. Because so I was like, you know, I knew I was, not to be invested in being right, but it was the right thing to do. They needed help to, because the guys sucked. So, <laughs> so, I don't know, I've never, you know, I've never felt, um, I've never felt any barriers, fortunately, you know? I've always felt, you know, maybe, you know, call it some kind of attitude or something, but I always felt that I could do what I wanted to do when I wanted to do it. And I would never asked a lot of questions either. I mean, I was a kid on a school trip. <coughs> my main objective was to get lost, lose the group. You know, I'm not into that whole collective, you know, thing. You know, it's like, for me, it's about doing, you know, what I want to do without disrespecting or putting anybody in harm or anything like that. But, you know, you got to do what you want. You got to do what makes you happy. And uh, I think I'm a big proponent of that.